this is Jamie from Caps Computers, and today we are reviewing Get Even. This first-person shooter is available now for PlayStation 4, Xbox One, and Windows. At the time of the recording of this video, the game cost $29.99 US. Without giving away too many spoilers, Get Even is a psychological thriller with a touch of Greek tragedy thrown in. The plot is good, but I do question some of the writing choices. The story starts out quite slow because it starts in one direction, then partway through it feels like it's quickly shifted to a different direction. I suspect part of the sluggish early start seems to be related to the decision to switch gears partway through. Luckily, once the story does find its direction, things improve drastically and the story quickly becomes quite captivating. The character Red is an incredibly compelling character thanks to solid writing and a brilliant performance by his voice actor. I wasn't particularly impressed with Get Even's gameplay. Although it bills itself as a first-person shooter, large portions of the game is essentially a walking simulator under the guise of investigation with a few adventure game style puzzles thrown in for good measure. Levels are almost completely linear. The asylum section is the worst offender, with long dull areas punctuated by the odd ambush by a crowbar wielding patient. The first time it happens, it's a decent jump scare, but it becomes a rather dull feeling of deja vu about the third or fourth time it happens. It's a shame that the devs opted for a walking simulator instead of a full-blown adventure game for their investigation sections as the puzzles they did include were a lot of fun and many of them were really creative. The gunplay in Get Even is rather dull and generic for the most part. It's your standard FPS that sits on the more realistic side of the spectrum. During the first half of the game, players get to use the corner gun, also known as the corner shot in real life. This nifty gadget lets players attach short firearms to the end and pivot around the corner, allowing users to shoot while staying within cover. It's a fun toy to play with, but I found the applications to be a bit limited. It takes a split second to pivot the device and get oriented, then another split second to straighten out and reorient yourself. In the heat of combat, I found it was just a lot easier to do it the old-fashioned way and stick your head out and fire off a few rounds. Partway through the game, the corner gun is replaced by the savant abilities, and those really change how the game is played. There are no more reloads, players can only pick up weapons by either assimilating an enemy or grabbing one from the ground. This is where Get Even's gunplay is at its best. The resulting gameplay is novel and fast-paced, it's just a shame that the section is so short. The stealth mechanics is probably the dullest part of Get Even. It lacks all the usual trappings of a stealth game. Players just get a map with the enemies in their line of sight cone and the chance to warp in the odd cover to hide behind. Usually there's only one real way to stealth through the levels as there's no good way to lure the enemy away from the player. Worst off, the story really puts a lot of pressure on you to go through the stealth method instead of shooting your way out. The controls were a bit of a mixed bag. Get Even uses the standard FPS control set. Handling the corner gun is intuitive enough, but using the smartphone is a bit of a drag. Navigating apps is a bit clunky without having extra hotkeys to jump to specific apps. Unless the player has a corner gun equipped, the game uses a Doom 3-esque system of having to switch between gun and smartphone, which is needed to use the minimap or find evidence. It's a real annoyance that I wish they could have done without. The audiovisual presentation is solid. The sound effects are good, and the implementation of the RO3D virtual surround sound technology is stellar. The soundtrack is excellent, but the fantastic voice acting really steals the show. The art style is an enjoyable mix of modern-day realism with a touch of near-future science fiction. Red's memory set pieces are just absolutely beautiful. The game does suffer a bit of texture popping when the end level initially loads. It's normally not a big problem, but there are a few sections of the game that loads back and forth between levels, which makes the texture popping really obvious. Just a word of warning to my fellow gamers who suffer from motion sickness, I found the crouching camera did trigger my motion sickness, which made stealthing a literal pain. Get Even is one of those great story games wrapped up in a nice shiny package that is just crippled by lousy gameplay. I know the plot's beginning is tough to slog through, but I think the middle to the end of the game more than makes up for it. It's just a shame that the stealth and gunplay is just really dull and very generic. The investigation portion of the game had a lot of potential, but the delivery is just a dull walking sim than an adventure game. Combined with the extremely short length of the game, I can really only recommend Get Even to fans of story-heavy games who can wait for a sale. I'm awarding Get Even 6 capsules out of 10. If you want to read our full review, be sure to check out the link in the description or in the video's card. I hope to see you soon. This is Jamie from Capsule Computer signing off. Hey YouTube, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to like it and subscribe to Capsule Computers for more awesome videos. If you're looking for more reviews to watch, check out our review of The Long Journey Home here on the left. And if you're looking for another FPS that leans slightly towards the realism side of the spectrum, why don't you check out our review of Sniper Ghost Warrior 3 here on the right.